The F-35 has received a lot of negative press over the past few years, but how much of that is true? Everyday citizens, aviation enthusiasts, Congress members, U.S. generals, and even the president has been critical of the aircraft, with John Stillian from RAND famously saying, it can't turn, can't climb, and it can't even run away. That was back in 2009. Since then, many of the issues have been addressed, but many still remain. There are three main variants of the F-35. The first is the F-35A, which will be used by the U.S. Air Force. It takes off and lands conventionally on a runway. The next is the F-35B, mainly for use by the U.S. Marine Corps. It's designed to replace the Harrier and is a short takeoff and vertical landing variant to be used aboard ships and short runways. And then finally the F-35C to be used by the U.S. Navy. It is designed to take off via a catapult and land via arresting cables on board an aircraft carrier. Oftentimes, stealthy features are not typically aerodynamic, therefore they come at a cost of maneuverability. There also seems to be a lot of contradicting reports on the maneuverability of the F-35. For example, a 2015 article published by War is Boring from an anonymous F-35 pilot claims that the aircraft is vastly inferior to the F-16 in dogfighting. He states that the F-35 lacks the power and maneuverability needed in a dogfight, specifically its disadvantage in a turning, pitching, and climbing fight. However, a 2016 report by a Norwegian pilot who flew the plane disagrees. He stated that the F-35 reacts much more quickly to the pilot's pedal inputs, which controls the nose of the plane from side to side, compared to the F-16. The pilot in the report did say that the aircraft suffers from buffeting, or major shaking during high G-loads and high angles of attack. This makes reading the information displayed on the heads-up display very difficult. Also compared to the F-16, the pilot has a hard time seeing the enemy behind him due to the F-35's cramped cockpit, large headrest, and large helmet. His conclusion is though, however, that the aircraft is still superior overall and gives him the edge over the F-16. Either way, we do know that the F-35's thrust to weight ratio is much lower than most modern 4 plus and 5th generation fighters like the Su-35, the Eurofighter, the F-22, and even the F-15C. The estimated head-on RCS or radar cross-section of the F-35 is 0.005 square meters. By comparison, a typical non-stealth fighter like the F-15 has an RCS of about 5 to 6 square meters. Now, detection range and radar is in direct proportion to the fourth route of RCS. So, for example, if an enemy radar can detect the F-15 at 100 miles out, then an aircraft with one-tenth the RCS wouldn't be detected until it was about 56 miles out. With this same example, the F-35 would not be detected by this radar until it was only 18 miles away. This, in theory, gives the F-35 a tremendous advantage over non-stealthy aircraft by being able to get much closer to the enemy before being detected. One major issue people have with the F-35 is that it is much less stealthy than it was originally promised with the X-35. There have been several design changes like reshaping of the fuselage which made it significantly less stealthy. Also core features on the plane like the engine nozzles and the more vertical stabilizers hurt the F-35 in terms of RCS. The exact RCS figures have still not been released and estimates range wide from one thousandth of a square meter to one hundredth of a square meter. But even if the aircraft is ten times larger than the highest estimate, it'll still be able to get twice as close to an enemy as the F-15 can do before being detected. And a quick disclaimer, that is a very, very simplified breakdown of stealth technology. Many other factors will come into play when determining the RCS and the value of its stealth, such as the angle of the aircraft, the radar frequency, weapon loadout on the aircraft, etc. If you're interested in a more in-depth look at stealth and the F-35, AusAirPower.net has a great article uh, called the Assessing Joint Strike Fighter Defense Penetration Capabilities that I would recommend reading. To maintain the F-35 stealth, all weapons have to be carried internally. This typically means fewer weapons and no external fuel tanks, which will also limit its range. The F-35 can carry four AMRAAM air-to-air -air missiles internally in an air combat loadout, or two AMRAAMs with either two JSOWs, two paveways, 
or eight SDB, which are small diameter bombs, and a ground attack loadout. In a much less stealthy loadout, the F-35 has several pylons that can be added to the wings to increase its ability to carry more missiles and bombs. Now by far, the biggest problem people have with the F-35 is its price. The entire program, including research and development, testing, procurement, and maintenance over its lifetime, was originally expected to only cost $200 billion. That number has now exploded to around $1.5 trillion. The F-35 was originally planned to be a low-cost, fifth-generation fighter slash attack aircraft that will take the place of the F-15, F-16, F-18, A-10, and the AV-8 Harrier. They claim that the three versions of the F-35 would have 70% the same parts, which would keep production and maintenance costs down. In actuality, the planes only share about 20% of the same parts. Redesigns, slowing production rate, the use of over 1,000 subcontractors across 45 states, and government sequestrations are some of the many reasons for the skyrocketing cost. However, it is true that in the past few years, the price per aircraft has begun to drop back down slightly. In conclusion, the F-35 is a very expensive plane, and its main selling point is that you are paying for its stealth. However, it turns out to be much less stealthy than originally conceived. Also, the lower payload really hurts the operators in offensive force. As stated, it does have the ability to carry more weapons externally, but then you lose most of its stealth, which is the whole reason that you paid $100 million per plane.